Good morning and welcome to the shop. I'm going to start by explaining this optical bench setup I've got here. I've got a collection of uh, lenses I want to test and this tabletop has a sheet of uh, paper uh, taped down to it with some distances and in inches from this end where it joins another table but there's as you can see about an inch and a half difference here between the two. Uh, this one then, the lower table, is where I'm going to put the laser pointers. And those are uh, attached to the board. I put a bit of a weight on here. I've also got them the wrong way around. This is the business end. You can see the laser pointer and a construction type laser pointer. Both of them are set up to have dots and I can lay this down on the lower table. The weight just kind of keeps it, the weight keeps it level and it will slide along uh, that track. You can see the track is uh, moving along as I slide the lasers along. So I normally need two hands to do this. So I've got the two lasers set up looking down the table and I'll just set up a bit of a target down here. Just stand this board up along the end of the track to give it something to shine on. And I'm going to just lay a ruler here just in parallel with, uh, with that uh, center line. And now I'm going to turn on the uh, red laser and just to enhance things I'll turn off the overhead light okay so now we can see the laser is running it's aiming down the center line and pretty much exactly I'll just fix that just by nudging the table a bit we have too much we have our laser pointer right on the end of the line there. Okay, looks pretty good. You can also see it's about, um, what is that, about a half an inch, a centimeter above the tabletop. I tried to have it graze the tabletop, but, uh, but it was just too hard to get the spot to line up. It's a very small spot. So now I'm going to show you what happens as I slide that laser across without any lens there. And I'm at the 10 inches back line and I'm just going to slide this along and as you can see, not very surprising, the dot moves parallel with the surface of the table about an inch above it. I'll measure that. Both sides of center. Okay. And I have to hold the button on the green laser, but I'll show you that does the same thing. Need three hands for this. Um, okay, here we go. Green laser sliding across. Just as you'd expect. The trigger button is a little finicky. All right. There we go. There's the green laser. And now the same thing, showing you what happens through the Fresnel side of the sheet. The, the beam is on center, I have a nice dot. Let's move it five inches off center. You can see how it's moving to the right. It's traveled through the lens, it's been bent, and it's traveling, even though I'm moving the laser to the, to the left, to the west, the dot's going to the right, to the east, and I'm getting quite a diffraction pattern. I'm going back to zero, and if I go to the other side, as you might expect, it goes to the other side. So where is the point that these two, uh, these beams cross? I've got this little stick here, and I'm going to lay it down where I think that spot is. It's actually about 28 inches from the lens. So 
So I'm laying that, that there, and now I'm going to go and move back and forth. You can see the dot now. I'm back to about the center. It goes back to a single point and then starts going the other way. But the main part of the beam, the brightest part, stays right at that spot. That's what I'm thinking is the focus. Okay, let's do the same thing with the green. Move the green to the center. And there's the green beam. And you can see I get the same, I'm going to the west now. Getting the same kind of diffraction. Interesting pattern on the backboard there. Um, and then back the other way. On the other side of zero, you can see it stays pretty close to that focus. All right. That's shining through the Fresnel side of the lens. So, it's loose in here. I just grab the corners off and slide it out and then flip it around and slide it back in. Okay, camera's in the same place, but I've flipped the lens back to front. So we're now shining in the smooth side. I'm going to once again start with the red laser. And you can see once again at the zero, I have a nice sharp spot. I'm going to move the camera here. I wonder if I moved it last time. All right, now I'm going to slide the carriage across to five. You can see I've got the diffraction pattern, but the beam has moved a little more to the right than it did before. And now it's like moving right off the stick. I'm at 10 centimeter, 10 inches from the center. Back to the center, five to the other side. Whoops, I'm tipping the cart. Five to the other side, 10 to the, you see it's moving meaningfully to the west. Now what does that mean exactly? Now we're looking at it from the other side. You can see the beam over at the back of the lens. This is where the ruler is going to come in. I'm going to arrange the ruler so it shows me where that beam goes and I'm going to mark the other end of it with the um, Well, I've got the camera in the wrong place to show you that. <laughs> okay, here's the setup here. So I'm using this edge of the lens, you can see the beam on my finger there, to show me where the beam is going. And I'm going to mark it as coming in about there. Second attempt. We're coming in the other side. Uh, I'm shining in the smooth side of the uh, plate. And now we're going to slide the pointer. I'm at zero and I have a nice tight spot. I'm going to minus five and, sorry, five to the west. And you can see that the beam is moving to the right. Let me help you see that. So here we are back at zero. And here we are at five. You see we're getting noticeable movement there. Um, this used to be the focus right here. But it seems to have moved down to about here. Let's see if we can determine where it is. I'm using the other end of the ruler on the laser pointer and I'm using this edge. You can see the spot on my finger there. I'm using this edge to show me where that's lining up. So what's happened is the focus has moved 
noticeably closer to the to the lens. And now I'm going to go over to 10 inches and you can see it's moved still further. So the focus now is about here. You can see these previous lines I, I drew on the tabletop before. So that's about where I figure the focus is now. So that means as I go further out the focal point is moving in towards the towards the lens. And it's the same with the green, but I don't think I can show you because I don't have enough hands. Hoping you can see this, but uh, here's some lines I marked on here before for the red and the green. So there was a slight difference, but they both ended up uh, within, say, a, a centimeter or so of each other in, in terms of the, of the uh, 10 centimeters west reading, which is this one, where it's 10 centimeters over.